Hey guys, this is Amit and you are watching Tech Dad. In this video, we are going to compare between Redmi 9 Power versus Vivo Y20. And we will discuss which one is better in camera, performance, display, body of the devices, features, communication chips, and about the prices. And in the end of the video, I will tell you which one is better according to me. So watch this video till the end. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. Let the comparison start with the camera. Starting with the rear camera of the devices, 9 Power have quad camera setup, 48 megapixel of wide camera, 8 megapixel of ultra wide camera, 2 megapixel of macro camera, and 2 megapixel of depth sensor. And about the Y20, it have triple camera setup, 13 megapixel of wide camera, 2 megapixel of macro camera, 2 megapixel of depth sensor. So the winner here is 9 Power because of 48 megapixel of wide camera, which can take great sharper images. And about the selfie camera of the devices, 9 Power have 8 megapixel of wide camera, whereas Vivo Y20 also have 8 megapixel of wide camera. So it's a tie here because both of the devices have same megapixel. Let's talk about the camera features of the devices. Both of the devices have LED flash with HDR and panorama, so it's a tie here. And about the video recording options in the devices, 9 Power can shoot full HD video max at 30 fps. But Vivo Y20 can shoot Full HD video max at 30 fps. So without a doubt, it's a tie here. Moving to the performance of the devices, let's start with the operating system of the devices. Both of the devices comes with Android 10 support, so it's a tie here. And about the user interface of the devices, 9 Power have MIUI, whereas Y20 have Funtouch UI. So I will call it a tie here because it's up to you which UI you like it or not, it's up to you. Let's talk about the processor of the devices. 9 Power is powered by Snapdragon 662, whereas Y20 is powered by Snapdragon 460. So the winner here is 9 Power because it can give you much more better performance. And about the GPU of the devices, 9 Power comes with Adreno 610 GPU, whereas Y20 comes with Adreno 610 GPU. So it's a tie here because both of the devices give you same FPS in games. Let's talk about the clock speed of the devices. 9 Power can clock at 2.0 GHz based on Octa-Core Creo chipset, whereas Y20 can clock at 1.8 GHz based on Octa-Core Creo chipset. So the winner here is 9 Power because it have higher clock speed. And about the RAM variants in the devices, 9 Power have 4 GB of RAM option. In the other hand, Y20 have 4 GB of RAM option. So the winner here is 9 Power because it have low latency. Let's talk about the internal storage of the devices. 9 Power have two storage options, 64 and 128 GB. In the other hand, Y20 have 64 GB of internal storage. So the winner here is 9 Power because it have faster read and write speed. And about the external storage of the devices, both of the devices have dedicated micro SDXE card slot option. So I will call it a tie here. Moving to the display of the devices, let's talk about the screen size of the devices. 9 Power have 6.53 inches of display. In the other hand, Vivo Y20 have 6.5 inches of display. So I will call it a tie here because both of the devices have approximately the same screen size. And about the screen to body ratio of the devices, 9 Power have 83.4%, whereas Y20 have 81.6%. So the winner here is 9 Power because it have larger ratio. Let's talk about the screen resolution of the devices. 9 Power have Full HD Plus display, whereas Y20 have HD Plus display. So the winner here is 9 Power because it can produce more sharper images. And about the display type of the devices, both the devices have IPS LCD display. So I will call it a tie here. Moving to the body features of the devices. Let's talk about the thickness of the devices. 9 Power have 9.6 mm of thickness, whereas Y20 have 8.4 mm of thickness. So the winner here is Y20 because of slightly slimmer body. Talking about the weight of the devices, 9 Power have 198 grams of weight, whereas Y20 have 192 grams of weight. So the winner here is Y20 because of lighter body weight. And about the protective glass of the devices, both of the devices have Gorilla Glass 3. So I will call it a tie here. Let's talk about the build quality of the devices. Both of the devices comes with plastic bag with plastic frame. So I will call it a tie here. And about the SIM options in the devices. Both of the devices have dual nano SIM support, so it's a tie here. Moving to the some of the most important features of the devices. Starting with the fingerprint scanner of the devices. 
Nine Power have side mounted fingerprint scanner, whereas Y20 also have side mounted fingerprint scanner. So it's a tie here. And about the sensors in the devices, both of the devices have accelerometer proximity, but Nine Power have compass. So the winner here is Nine Power because of compass. Let's talk about the battery capacity of the devices. Nine Power have 6000 mAh of battery, whereas Y20 have 5000 mAh of battery. So the winner here is 9 power because of massive battery capacity and about the charging speed of the devices. 9 power have 18 watts of fast charging. In the other hand, Y20 have 20 watts of fast charging. So the winner here is Y20 because of slightly faster charging speed. Let's talk about the loudspeaker of the devices. Redmi 9 power have stereo speakers, whereas Y20 have normal speakers. So the winner here is 9 power because of stereo speakers can produce immersive sound experience and about the headphone jack of the devices both of the devices comes with 3.5 mm of headphone jack so it's a tie here moving to the communication chips of the devices starting with the wlan of the devices both of the devices have wi-fi ac wi-fi direct dual band wi-fi and hotspot so it's a tie here and about the bluetooth version of the devices nine power have fifth generation of bluetooth whereas y20 also have fifth gen of bluetooth so I will call it a tie here because both of the devices have same generation of Bluetooth. Let's talk about the GPS chips in the devices. Both of the devices have AGPS, GLONASS and BDS but Y20 have Galileo positioning chip so I will call the winner here is Y20. And about the USB connectivity of the devices, 9 power have second gen of Type-C connector with OTG support but Y20 have micro USB 2.0 with OTG support so I will call the winner here is 9 power because of type C have faster read and write speed. Moving to the prices of the devices. In the international market, 9 power is available from 150 US dollars and Y20 is available from 230 US dollars. In the Indian market, 9 power will start from 11,000 rupees whereas Y20 is available from 13,000 rupees. So the conclusion of the video is in the camera, the winner is 9 power. In the performance, the winner is 9 power. In the display, the winner is 9 power. In the body segment, the winner is Y20. In the features of the devices, the winner is 9 power. In the communication chips, it's a tie. And about the prices, the winner is 9 power. So the decision is totally yours. Which device you like the most so far? And let me know in the comment below. What do you think? Which one device is better for you? So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like our content, please like our video. Share this video and subscribe to our channel. Comment what you thought in the comment below. If you watch